Good morning, everyone. Today is day three of the Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Evasion. And today, what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm simply gonna just show you kind of a day in the life of what this event has. So I'm gonna show you the vendors, the show and shine, which is setting up over here. I'll show you what happens at night on the kind of cruise along the main strip. Uh, we'll go check out some of the locations where people hang out, the Quaker Steak, uh, maybe the Hard Rock again tonight. You know, I'll, I'll show you guys all that. I actually have to finish the video that I started yesterday, which is the video where I'm highlighting all the new product that is being shown by these vendors at this show. I didn't finish yesterday because there are so many vendors. So today I'm actually heading in to finish the interior and go through what those vendors inside have to offer because I only got through the ex exterior. So guys, let me go ahead and get this done and then I'll come back to show you guys everything that's here. Everything in this video is pretty much gonna just be a purge and more of a montage of everything that's going on. So you guys get an understanding of what this event has to offer. So enjoy this video and I'll see you guys at the end. Till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways.
last night I saw your eyes A sense of threat that I can't forget I wanna know who you are This world I need to know
No words describe your savage life. Ooh, let's give it a go like a purple show. I wanna know who you are. This world I need to know. So take my hand and let our fears go.
dear And these nights are getting shorter Lack of energy I'll conquer In my soul, this is real These nights are getting shorter In my soul, this is real
So guys, it seems that I've got to film the closing part for this video, and it wasn't until I was editing the video today that I realized this. So I'm gonna do it right now. Overall guys, that event was a lot of fun to attend, and I highly recommend that if you are considering attending it for next year, that you try to make it happen, because it's definitely one of the events that you have to experience in person. I know that you can just watch videos online and get a good understanding of what happened, but to be honest, all the videos I've seen online are just a glimpse of what happens at the event. And to be honest, even at the event, you don't get a chance to see everything. There are a couple things that I think are worth mentioning that occur at the event. First is the vendors. Because of the size of this event, there are so many vendors attending this show, and it's a great opportunity to see some of these vendors in person and touch and feel the products they have to sell that you typically would only have the chance to see online. Also, all of these vendors are selling their products on sale, so it's also a good opportunity to purchase something at a good price. And some of the vendors are also releasing new products at this event, so it's an opportunity for you to purchase something no one else has. And guys, as you've probably heard, this is a massive event. There are so many Jeeps attending, and there's so many things to see. There are mall crawlers, there are rock crawlers, there are stock Jeeps. There are so much to see that it's really just worth attending. You don't even have to go into the venue. You could just come to Pigeon Forge and drive around and that would be enough to see. Because there's so many things, there's also so many fun people to meet. There were so many times I couldn't, I just had conversations for an hour with a random person. We were talking Jeeps, we were talking about where they live. It is so much fun. There's so many people to meet and just a blast. A couple things I wanna mention that if you are trying to get around Pigeon Forge during this weekend, it is nearly impossible. It takes almost an hour just to get a block. So if you are trying to get around Pigeon Forge, I highly recommend that you have some patience and honestly, just enjoy everything that's going on. Don't, don't be a rush because this isn't the place. If you wanna try and rush it, you gotta go on detours around Pigeon Forge just to get to somewhere. For the after parties, guys, in this video, I only showed you guys one, and that was the Quaker Steak. There also is the Hard Rock, which was a lot of fun. That one shut down around the same time as the Quaker Steak, which is usually around nine or 10. And then there is also the Dave and Buster's one that actually went a little later. That was typically the one that we would go to after leaving the Quaker Steak because there was no way to get home. It was either sit in traffic for an hour just to get home or go over to Quaker Steak and continue talking to people. So definitely some cool nightlifes that go on. I'm sure there's a few others that I didn't experience, but these were the ones that I experienced and I have to say really cool and highly recommend checking them out. Overall guys, really cool event. If you have any questions or comments about the event, feel free to post them below. I also did post another video about the Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. And in that video, what I did is I actually went around and checked out all the vendors to find some of the new products that I found at the show. So if you haven't watched that video, I highly recommend that you click on the link right here to go check out that video and see what new products I found at the Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. As usual guys, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share, keep evolving, and we'll see you guys on the next video.